Hey guys, Sviden and Jolly here. You may remember from my first top 10 video when I talked about the debuts of BWI West Indies and Preston North End. As if it wasn't enough the video talked about Heathrow Express at number 6 and Dragonair at number 7. Today, this video talks about the top 10 videos that will be uploaded by Reagan Farmer next year. Including one where I talk about Bart Simpson. Buckle up, because things are getting seriously bumpy. Let's kick the video off at number 10 and at that spot is Wigan Wallgate. Wigan Wallgate is one of two railway stations serving the town centre of Wigan in Greater Manchester and serves two routes, the Manchester to Southport line and the Manchester to Kirkby line. It is 16 miles northwest of Manchester, Victoria. The station is managed by Northern. Wigan's other main station is Wigan Northwestern, which is about 110 yards 100 meters away, on the opposite side of the street named Wallgate. Burnley Manchester Road, which is mentioned a lot in Paul K. Zillers's videos and a video by THAMESLINK319, is at number 9. On weekdays the station is served by Northern semi-fast services from Blackpool North to Leeds and York via the Caldeville line. Currently there is an hourly service in each direction each weekday. On Sundays there is now also an hourly service each since the 2009 timetable change. From the 17th of May 2015 an hourly service between Manchester Victoria and Blackburn serves the station seven days a week, calling at Mills Hill, Castleton, Rochdale, Smithy Bridge, Little Bill, Todd Morden, Burnley Manchester Road, Rosegrove. Accrington and Blackburn. Most weekday and Saturday trains also continue to Wigan Wallgate, which I mentioned earlier. Moving on to the African side at number 8, and that spot belongs to Zambia. On the 24th of October 1964, Zambia became independent of the United Kingdom on the day of the closing ceremony of the 1964 Summer Olympics, and Prime Minister Kenneth Corner, uploaded in January 2015, became the inaugural president. Corner's Socialist United National Independence Party maintained power from 1964 until 1991. From 1972 to 1991 Zambia was a one-party state with the United National Independence Party as the sole legal political party under the motto, One Zambia, One Nation. Corner was succeeded by Frederick Chilaba of the Social Democratic Movement for Multi-Party Democracy in 1991. Levi Wanawasa presided over Zambia from January 2002 to his death in August 2008 and was credited with campaigns to reduce corruption and increase the standard of living. After Mwanawasa's death, Rupia Banda presided as acting president before being elected president. Banda stepped down after his defeat in the 2011 elections by Patriotic Front Party leader Michael Seta. In 2009, Zambia generated 10.3 terawatt hours and has been rated high in use of both solar power and hydroelectricity. However, as of early 2015 Zambia began experiencing a serious energy shortage due to the poor 2014-15 rain season which resulted in low water levels at the Kariba Dam and other major dams. With 2017 due to become one of the years where Reagan will shine, Gatwick Express is at number 7. Gatwick Express is a high-frequency rail passenger service between London Victoria and Gatwick Airport in South East England. The service began in May 1984 with their conditioned intercity carriages operated by British Rail. However, in June 2008, Gatwick Express ceased to exist as a separate franchise when it was merged into the Southern Train Operating Company. With the last franchise expiring on 25 July 2015, the South Central franchise merged with the Thameslink Great Northern franchise to create Thameslink Southern and Great Northern. This is operated by Govia Thameslink Railway, which is also owned by Southern's parent company, Govia. The main service operates every 15 minutes, similar to that of Heathrow Express, but taking 30 minutes instead of 15. Gatwick Express customers at London Victoria can check their flight details as well as before they board the train with dedicated flight information display screen showing the flight number, destination, departure time and departure terminal. On the Staffordshire side, at number 6, 
is Rita. Rita is an intermin accelerator coaster located in the dark forest area of Alton Towers in Staffordshire and formerly known as Rita Queen of Speed. Open since 2005, it accelerates to 61.1 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds. The ride is loosely based on drag racing, though this partly changed with the deeming to the dark forest in 2010. It stands as an abandoned drag racer that is used as the escape car to escape the dark forest. Riders must be over 1.4 meters 55 in tall to ride. In 2005, Rita was temporarily renamed to Camilla Queen of Speed to celebrate the marriage of Prince Charles to Camilla Parker Bowles. Not to be confused with Camilla Cabello from Fifth Harmony. This simply involved banner signage to notify guests of the Camilla Queen of Speed name. The voiceover heard before the ride launches has changed to incorporate a more spooky theme. As opposed to an American accented motor racing commentary style voice counting down to the start of a drag race, it is now a sinister foreboding voice ordering passengers to keep your head back. Hold on tight. You must escape. Go. 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 Buckle up! You are on one of the planet's natural thrill rides. What? This is all part of my commitment to upload Rita in 2017. It's not like there will be a stealth at Thorpe Park that will be uploaded in June. And, as opposed to Sonic's pinball at number 5, Rita will be joined by the Smiler at the beginning of next year. I'd say that it is a 9 mile an hour gap between the two when Rita is uploaded in 2017. Sonic Spinball, now known as Spinball Wiser, is at number 5. Spinball Wiser is a spinning roller coaster located in the Adventureland area of Alton Towers in Staffordshire. Built by Maura Sony, it was previously sponsored by the company that created the Sonic the Hedgehog video game franchise and was known as Sonic Spinball from 2010 to 2015. Opening in 2004, Spinball Wiser featured a loose pinball machine theme. The name was a pun on the song, Pinball Wizard, by The Who. In 2010, it was announced that Spinball Wiser would be receiving a Sonic the Hedgehog Grey brand as part of a partnership with Japanese video game company Sega. The roller coaster was therefore given a red and blue track repaint with the station announcements done by Sonic's voice actor Roger Craig Smith. The ride reopened to the public as Sonic Spinball on the 13th of February 2010 during the park's February half-term event. A Sonic-themed room was also made available at the Alton Towers Hotel, which featured various playable Sonic games and wallpaper based on Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Sega previously had a deal with Alton Towers for the Toyland Tours Dark Ride. However, the ride was closed for refurbishment in June 2005 to make way for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the ride. Not only has Sonic Spinball lost its charm but it also has got a sense of the character Sonic the Hedgehog doing the station announcements. This is all sad news if you go to Alton Towers but good news for Reagan in 2017. On the German side, at number 4, is the coupe version of the Mercedes-Benz GLC. Whether you love or loathe the idea of a coupe SUV, you simply can't ignore the GLC coupe's desirability and decent driving experience. It's not the last word and fun by any means, but it's comfortable and refined and has a genuinely upmarket cabin. The 250D diesel is a strong compromise in terms of efficiency and performance, although it certainly isn't cheap. We expect it to deal a knockout blow to the BMW X4 when it arrives in the UK later this year. The GLC Coupe is powered by a 9-speed automatic transmission that goes through the gears like a first-class intermediate motor. What is it? I'm sorry but why would the GLC Coupe go on sale if the SLK class had a view count of only 7? Not only has the GLC Coupe lost its charm but it also has a sense of something the GLC left off when it was uploaded in December 2015. With the GLE and a coupe version of the car to be uploaded sometime in 2016, the GLC coupe will follow at the beginning of 2017. Star Wars, Episode 8, an upcoming American epic space opera film written and directed by Rian Johnson, is at number 3 out of a possible 7. 
It isn't clear if Kenny Baker has completely given up the role of R2-D2 but it's perhaps understandable that the 81-year-old had a replacement in the form of Scottish actor Jimmy V. In 2017, Star Wars Episode 8 will be uploaded and Reagan says that he will be looking forward to the film when it releases on December the 15th. This is something big because at number 2 it's Ignite the Dream, a nighttime spectacular of magic and light. Ignite the Dream unfolds on Shanghai Disneyland Park's castle, Enchanted Storybook Castle. The show features water fountains, fire, lasers, projection mapping and searchlights. The show's story is centered on Mickey Mouse flying through the evening sky after discovering a magical spark that ignites his imagination. Mickey is transported to three scenes from The Lion King. Mickey splashes down a waterfall that transports him underwater and into the sea where he encounters Ariel from The Little Mermaid. The scenery transitions into the Great Barrier Reef from Finding Nemo where Mickey is swept up into the waves of the East Australian Current. The East Australian Current is the southward western boundary current that is formed from the South Equatorial Current crossing the Coral Sea. Not to be confused with coral from Finding Nemo. According to http colon slash slash www.shanghaidisnesort.com see Enchanted Storybook Castle transformed when Disney magic lights up the night with stunning special effects. Let Mickey Mouse be your guide as he shows you the magic of dreams and the power of imagination. Here in the heart of Shanghai Disneyland, witness the wonder as Mickey discovers portals to new adventures where worlds of wonder come to life. Summoning breathtaking projections, lasers, fountains and much more, Mickey transforms the castle into an amazing new world and awakens the dreamer inside us all. Even though this has got nothing to do with the delayed rivers of light. After Reagan fell in love with Ariana Grande at the beginning of January 2016, he wanted a girl with even more beauty and this is his gift. Princess Anna of the Rendell from Frozen. Anna is a fictional character who appears in Walt Disney Animation Studios' 53rd animated film Frozen. She is voiced by Chris and Bell as an adult. As of August 2013, the content of Extra Normal had been replaced by a holding page showing pause. Damascus was destroyed in June 2013 in OXTRANORMAL. That night, Thomas and Percy spoke to Henry. We're sorry we got you into trouble. Please stop trying to get Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade into trouble. 7 out of 10 people don't know what Ignite the Dream or Nighttime Spectacular of Magic and Light is and you're F asterisk asterisk king stupid. Get ready to say, eat my shorts, because at number 1 it's Bart Simpson. Bart is a character in the American animated television series The Simpsons and part of the Simpson family. He is voiced by Nancy Cartwright and first appeared on television in the Tracy Ullman show short Goodnight on the 19th of April 1987. Matt Groening created and designed Bart while waiting in the lobby of James L. Brooks' office. Groening had been called to pitch a series of shorts based on life in hell but instead decided to create a new set of characters. While the rest of the characters were named after Groening's family members, Bart's name is an anagram of the word brat. Cinders and ashes, cried Tom. What? This is all part of my commitment to upload Bart Simpson in 2017. Nancy Cartwright originally planned to audition for the role of Lisa while Yedley Smith tried out for Bart. Smith's voice was too high for a boy, so she was given the role of Lisa. Cartwright found that Lisa was not interesting at the time, so she auditioned for Bart, which she thought was a better role. Cartwright is best known for her role as Bart Simpson on the long-running animated television show The Simpsons as I said earlier. Bart quickly became the show's breakout personality and one of the most celebrated characters on television. His popularity in 1990 and 1991 was known as Bartmania. There will be more of Bart Mania in 2017 when Bart is uploaded by Reagan at the beginning of the year. And that is Reagan Farmer's top 10 videos for next year. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, I am Sviden and Jolly. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.